This video is going to be a little bit different to usual. I want to talk about something that I deeply dislike. Actually, I'm kind of constantly talking about things that I deeply dislike on this channel, like my last video, which was all about permafrost thawing, which I'm not a fan of. But I guess today what's different is that I just really need to vent. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Adam, a climate scientist with a PhD from Oxford, sharing what you need to know about climate change. And today you need to know about It's Called Summer, and just how stupid some people think you are. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm going to throw in an extra way to think about summer and climate misinformation at the end of the video. Look. As I record this, it is indeed the season called summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Australians and Argentinians, you're just gonna have to use your imaginations for a moment. And this summer has been absolutely brutal. We've seen millions of people sweltering under deadly heat in North America, Europe, Asia. Temperature records are being smashed time and time again. All this as wildfires tear through our human and natural worlds. And these extreme disasters disasters are part of a broader trend. The planet's temperatures are rising, that thing we call global warming. And globally, this year is on track to be the second or third hottest we've ever recorded, beaten only by the incredible heat of the last two years, years scientists are still trying to get their heads around. Since the world's getting hotter, that means summers are getting hotter. We're seeing more and more records being broken, and weather that used to be extremely rare being made more extreme and less rare. All emergency symptoms of a changed climate. And at this point, I can feel the comments being written. It's hot right now where I am. And for sure, climate change doesn't mean everywhere is hotter than average all the time. But this is what June looked like for the planet. Red means hotter than the average from a few decades ago. Blue means cooler. And, well, you don't have to be a climate scientist to realize that there's a lot of red on that map. And despite the globe looking like it's got sunburn, despite exceptional extreme weather, despite seeing records being smashed again and again by definition unprecedented conditions, the response of so many is to simply utter those magic three words. It's called summer. Now, this is the point where I'm meant to debunk, scientifically explain why this argument doesn't make logical sense. But honestly, this attempt at a gotcha one-liner is so nonsensical, it's hard to even know where to begin. We can start by actually looking up what summer means. Collins Dictionary defines summer as the season between spring and autumn when the weather is usually warm or hot. So yes, we expect summer to be hotter than the other three seasons, but no, we don't expect summer to regularly be hotter than all the seasons in all the years we've ever recorded. Summer doesn't explain what we're seeing. What can explain what we're seeing is that the world is getting profoundly, rapidly hotter, confirmed by every major analysis we have. And every last scrap of evidence is pointing to the same culprit. Fossil fuels and mass agriculture raising greenhouse gas levels higher than they've been for millions of years. It's called summer is just so Dumb. But this isn't just getting repeated by your exhausting uncle at family gatherings. It's getting repeated ad nauseam by all the uncles over on X. Fourth heat wave of the year, it's called summer. Record breaking temperature, hey dumbass, I see your unprecedented temperatures and I raise you an, it's called summer. Widespread wildfires, it's called summer. And back in my day, our houses burnt to the ground every year. Okay, that last one is actually pretty funny. And this is also getting repeated by our news pundits and our politicians. And just to be super explicit, this isn't just annoying, it's actively dangerous. 
The intention is to convince us that burning fossil fuels, heating the planet, has no effect on our lives. That we can just keep doing what we're doing without consequences. Even though we're already feeling the consequences today, whether that's in the form of extreme heat that is claiming lives right here, right now, sea level rise, or our ability to grow enough food and access enough clean water. Every time someone says it's called summer, what they're really saying is that they're more scared of changing how we get our energy than they are of a destabilized climate. And look, this isn't the first nonsensical line about climate change that I've heard. When you've been working on climate change for over a decade, you hear your fair share of absolutely mind-blowing misinformation. Like the US Republican Mo Brooks claiming sea level rise was caused by rocks falling into the ocean. Is that forces the sea levels to rise. Or Senator James Inhofer saying climate change is impossible since God is still up there. What really gets me is not just how dumb this is, but how it's repeated so often. It literally takes thinking about it for, well, just thinking about it for any time at all to realize the logic doesn't hold up. I mean, it's like seeing someone break the 100 meter record, running it in an unbelievable nine seconds flat and saying, it's called running. It's like seeing someone eating 100 hot dogs in one sitting and responding, it's called dinner. It's like, it's like I'm too annoyed to even think of more parallels right now. Drop what you think it's like in the comments below. Oh, and if you climates could click the like and the subscribe while you're clicking on other things, that genuinely helps videos like this reach more people. You know, what really gets me about this is that the people saying this don't care that it doesn't make any sense. They think you're dumb enough to believe it. They think they can convince you to watch our planet burn and just think, this is fine. And so it's not just the obvious misinformation behind these words that frustrates me so much. It's that they think you won't notice or that if you do notice, you won't care. It's that they think so little of us that they think we can be convinced not to care about our own safety and future by a failure to grasp what seasons are. And whenever I make videos like this, I get comments claiming I'm a shill, that someone is paying for me to do this. In fact, under my last video, someone suggested that my production values were simply too good, and I must have some kind of secret team of editors behind me. And, well, I've never been so complimented by a conspiracy theory before. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but all this amazing editing is carried out by me. And the only people funding videos like this one are my incredible patrons. I don't do product placements or even YouTube monetization because I don't want the point of these videos to be selling you all stuff you don't need. If you're into that, head over here to become a patron. But back to summer. And I said up top, I had some other misinformation that I wanted to tackle. You see, the whole logic of it's called summer is that we know summers are hotter than other seasons, which is true, but as we've discussed, probably in too much detail at this point, that doesn't do anything to explain why conditions are getting more and more extreme. But the very people who have been reminding us that this is the season called summer are also the ones who have been commenting for years. You can't predict the weather next week. Why should we trust your predictions for the climate in 2050? Yes, the very people who adamantly tell us that climate is impossible to predict are also here to remind you that summer is inevitably hotter than the other seasons. And of course it is, but this just highlights the difference between climate and weather. Weather is the day-to-day, hour-to-hour variation in conditions in a specific place. Weather is what you want to know about when you want to decide whether to bring an umbrella. Climate is the patterns of weather. That's what tells you that South Sudan is hotter than Southern Sweden, that summer is hotter than winter, and that adding to the insulating gases in our atmosphere will make the planet heat up. So you don't get to have it both ways. You can't say, it's impossible to predict what the climate will do. And then also say, summer is definitely going to be hot. What you did there was a climate prediction. Okay, 
This is enough ranting about offensively stupid summer misinformation. Here's what we can maybe do about it. Okay, until next time. Bye. Is it pronounced Inhofer or Inhofer?